I want to just show you this amazing website from Laura Clark. I feel like it's like my birthday or something when, when I find um, amazing sites like this that have really excellent free resources. So if you Google Laura Clark AAC, you'll find her reading and writing for all Google site. Uh, it says she made this site and was inspired by her son who's an AAC user. So if you go to the home tab at the top and you scroll down, you will see these alphabet books in ABC order. And this is what I'm so jazzed about. Let's open up one. They have them in Google slide format, PDF or PowerPoint. Let's open up the PDF. Oh, I'll scroll to the beginning. Um, so this is just a really nice visual way to guide your learner through their letter a day alphabet routine. This is an explicit instruction routine. It's really fabulous for paraprofessionals who are just getting used to running through this explicit alphabet routine for our emergent learners. So this is a nice way to just kind of give them this digital file or the printed out book and they can do um, go through the book together and that's the explicit instruction done for the day. Uh, so let's take a look at this resource from Laura. So let's read the letter A. Uh, emergent reader book, alphabet, instructional routine. She has some information about her series. And we'll look at steps one and two, and that's identifying the letter together. This is the letter A. This is the uppercase letter A. This is the lowercase letter A. Sometimes it looks like this. And sometimes the lowercase letter looks like this. Let's practice naming this letter. What is this letter? So she says to point to the upper and lowercase letter in different orders at least three times, asking the student to say that letter name. And if they don't use speech, um, then we can tell them, let's practice naming this letter. Say it to yourself while I say it out loud, getting them to use the voice in their head. Steps three and four is about the sound that the letter makes. This letter spells a, ah, or you can say this letter represents the sound a. Ah. Say a ah with me. And then she gives some lovely examples of words that start with the short vowel a, ah, apple, app. They're really nice pictures. They're really age respectful. So it doesn't, you know, you can use these for high school students who are emergent learners, emergent literacy learners, alligator, ashes. Africa, really nice pictures, African elephant, Africa on the map, acting. Let's practice saying the sound this letter represents. And same idea, encourage them to use the voice in their head um, if they're not using spoken speech. Step five, can you find the letter? Let's look together. I really like this um, aspect of her books. Um, this is fun and how it, they do this for each of the letters. Let's look for the letter in text. So she has a keyboard, find the letter A, find it here, getting exposure to some different fonts. I think this is probably my favorite slide in each book. Um, the text message, you can read the text message and look for the letter A. I just love that it's, you know, uh, a goal usually for so many of our students um, to be able to text and read texts and that's a, a really nice thing to have embedded in these slides. Um, some emojis and some different fonts, finding it in the ABCs, another keyboard, some bubble letters, some graffiti. And then step six and seven are about writing or producing that letter. So if they are using a traditional pencil, you can have them write the letter. You can model it, they can do it, or you can use their alternative pencil to model um, selecting that letter for the upper and lower case, and that's it. And then just a little question about if they like the story or not, and some references, of course, to Karen and Dave's book um, and to Laura's amazing website. Really encourage you to um, use this with your learners if you're just starting out with an explicit alphabet routine. I think this is just like such an amazing, fabulous resource. So I needed to make a video about it and share it.